So far, I'm just missing, like, obvious paths. So we're gonna go check this place one more time. God damn it. What is going back down there, dude? It doesn't do anything. Over here? Oh, I didn't get the key to that yet. Really? Well, that's just utterly dumb. Wait for me there, I wonder. 
I want to bring back my skeleton. All the 24 hour buff should still be going. The world has suffered enough. you my aid.
Shall we move? We shall move! Ah, e Reti! I don't know why switching this takes so long. I think we, I don't think you're supposed to be able to do this, but then it again, like I, I, it's so confusing to me. Well, now my uh, Triceratops has a freaking Ugh, precise strikes. You are blinded by a sudden flash. It feels like the giants are hammering on your temple. The monstrous pain lashes your chest. Your wound has reopened at the worst possible moment and is gushing blood. You sense the malevolent proximity of the abyss. You can almost touch the threat emanating from it. Slowly, almost reluctantly, the wound closes, but the pain and your heightened awareness remain. The hall bears the trace of a huge Baylor's hunger. Some demons are lying on the floor, literally ground into a bloody mess, while the rest are cowering against the walls. Minago, shivering, covers the wound you dealt her with one hand while trying with the other to wipe away the blood oozing from the simple carp into her forehead. Let me into the rift, Tarazand! We're all going to die here! Trying to fight back! It's madness! No one goes into the rift. You will fight! All of you! Or else! <clears throat> if anyone wants to leave, let them go, demon, and fight me if you're so eager. I told you, Tarzant. Now you're going to die, and they'll hang your horned skull on the walls of Dresden. You! You and your little troop made a fool of me at the Battle of Dresden. Finally, I can make you pay! Finally! Do not fear! Do not waver! He has a plus 42 to hit.
Holy shit. He just needs to roll an 11. So 50% chance to hit me is not bad. Actually. I'll rip you apart! Holy shit. <laughs> 54 base armor. What in the actual fuck? Holy aura, heroism, foresight, seeing, visibility, true seeing, shaken. Dude. I only have a plus eighteen to hit with him. Oh wait. Now nah, I shot way more. Jesus! How did he die? How 
I'm so confused as to how he died. This is so much lag. are usually chaotic and unstable. That's why I've been plagued by one question. How could demons have created a stable, permanent passage from the Abyss here in the world? And as I stare into the flames of the Rift itself, the answer still eludes me. What is the secret to this canker festering at the very heart of our world? How can we heal it? My friends and comrades, the time has come for us to discuss something of the utmost importance. It is here, on the threshold of the Abyss, that I must announce an important decision before you all. But first, hey, Celeste. we shall talk about you, Commander. Is that Celeste out? Nice. The nice duties I entrusted to you. What class is my main character? Um, They are a triple bloodlined sorcerer. sister and faith must these discussions take place now at such a moment oh the and mythic pat lich and its forces are great that is what we must turn our attention to not scrutinizing our fellow crusaders that must be really hard to play not really um i am a triple bloodline sorcerer specced into the ice domain all of my spells do roughly about a hundred and 25 to 150 damage it ignores all resistances and I can inflict vulnerability due to the lich's power thus double my damage with my, all my ice spells so if I start off with a vulnerability debuff then all my ice spell does about 250 to 300 damage and that insta kills everything in the hundred years that this war has lasted not a day has gone by when I haven't thought about how we can win it. That is precisely why we cannot delay the conversation any longer. Okay. Hmm. After everything I've done with Crusade, you put me on trial. Not a trial. Merely a superior evaluating the actions of a subordinate. May I remind you that it was I who entrusted you with your title and an army? Okay. 
The first and most glaring issue I'd like to discuss is how you have used the divine gift that was bestowed upon you. An aura of necromancy hangs over Dresden. My clerics and paladins tell me they have never seen anything like it, even in Geb, and its source is quite obvious. A commander's absolute priority is leading the Crusader armies, and I cannot help but notice that you have handled this part of your responsibilities well. Among the decisions I find most questionable is your use of Veskavors in the Battle for Dresden. <laughs> A foolish, dangerous, and reprehensible idea. Given that the soldiers who carried the bait for the swarm weren't warned about the nature of their mission and perished to a man. Yeah. That was like a group of six soldiers and it killed like half the demon's army. I think that's a fair trait. I cannot but notice your strange choice of companions. The good gods teach us to seek the light even in the darkest soul and to believe in redemption. But it is one thing to believe in the good intentions of a murderous succubus and, for example, send her to a temple of Desna to be cared for by experienced priests. But it is another matter entirely to take the demon with you to the front lines, where one well-timed stab in the back could put a tragic end to our entire crusader cause. It is unthinkably reckless. Wait, wait one second, game. I did not take a Rusale with me on this mission. Because I, I, I literally thought that that's what she... I mean, she probably wouldn't stab me in the back. But, you know, be influenced by the Abyss. She's not here. What are you talking about? Does she magically spawn here or something? That is weird. With all due respect, my lady... Arushale has proven herself to be a faithful and reliable comrade. She has fought bravely for us, and we both want to see the demons defeated. Is there any reason to reproach the commander for accepting her into our party? She's not here. She's literally in prison right now. Back at Dresden. She put herself in prison, and I have not taken her out of there. I think this part of the story is absolutely stupid. You can find reasons aplenty in any Mendevian cemetery, Sila. Each one is full of the graves of those who were deceived by demons. Well, intimidate it is, I suppose. Because the other two options are good paths. I don't want to go to that. Uh, let me remind you that you were the one who assigned Nura Denuar to my entourage who turned out to be a Baphomet's cultist. So which of us is incapable of choosing worthy companions? Oh, damn. A fair reproach. Let's hope Arushale will stand head and shoulders above Nora. Nice. I also wish to mention what you did with Iomade's banner, the Sword of Valor. This sacred relic handed to you to defend the city against the demons has become a reflection of you. I do not know how you manage to distort its features, but I cannot overlook it. I only pray that Iomade will forgive us all for this most improper treatment of her relic. That is all I wish to say. And now, to summarize. You can think my assessment is empty fault finding, but I am responsible for the entire crusade, for Mendev. And for the future of those who have encountered or will encounter the evil of the world wound, I do not have the luxury of making a single mistake. That is why I am forced to remove you from the command of the Fifth Crusade. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. I won't stand for this. Oh! Oh my god, they did spawn all of my companions here. Holy shit, what? I didn't even see them. Yep, there's a Rusale. Okay. Yep. This is why I always take payment up front. The customers become very shifty when everything is done. Yep. I deeply respect the desire to bring discipline to the crusades. 
But not all the accusations you leveled at the commander are guided by that desire. Oh, thank you, Regal. Love you. My righteous sister, you are entitled to make such a decision, but please reconsider whether this is the right one. He is not just the Crusade commander. He is our hope. Our only hope. Our only hope is he? I see you do not value me or the other heroes of the Crusade very highly, my righteous brother and comrade. Damn! You just spoke back to the Herald of Ayamade. Girl, I'm about to like turn you into an undead. <laughs> but let me continue. Do not take your demotion as a punishment. I have in many respects been forced to take this step. As we all know, the demons have created a new weapon, the Hindrian Crystals, which provide them with truly mythical powers. We managed to remove the threat temporarily, but not eliminate its source. The Hindrian Crystals were brought here to Galarian through this rift. I shall do everything to ensure this route is blocked from now on. I shall destroy all the paths from the Midnight Fane to Dresden, blocking the passages with rocks if I have to, so that demons passing through this indestructible rift cannot descend upon the city. This is a forced measure. I am doing this for the safety of Dresden. Mm. But this won't solve the problem. We should... No, we must track the demon's path and settle this issue once and for all. And that means venturing into the abyss. No one but you, with your unique power, can handle this task. That is why I shall take over the command of the Crusader armies, and you will wow. journey forth on this great mission. Um, I am on the... I suppose taking Dresden was Act 2. So, this is Act 3 and at the very end of it. So, yeah. This is like the end of Act 3. Um, what if I refuse to go to the Abyss? It will mean that one day the Abyss will come for you. I might disagree with my righteous sister-in-arms at times, but there is one thing she is indisputably right about. Evil must be killed at the root. The Nahindrian crystals are too great a threat, and we may never get another chance of reaching their source. Any tips on how to play a sorcerer? Buffs. False life will be your greatest ally. So, false life gives you temporary HP. Um, and all three false life stacks together. So it's false life regular, greater false life, and like the level seven, uh, seventh level spell false life. All three stacks on top of each other, and they last for one hour per your character level. So they last a long time. Um, after casting all three buffs on yourself, you should have at least around. 120 something extra HP on top of your current HP and then you would need uh, angelic buffs so I have both the angelic buffs on me and each one gives me a DR of 5 that reduces all damage by about 10 that I take and then my wizard and cleric buffs me even more with greater heroism heroism and uh, um, the ultimate heroism, which gives me more HP. Right now, I'm walking around at around like 160 HP plus my base HP with like around 20 to 30 DR from all the buffs. So you're gonna have to work at it. Um, starting as a sorcerer will definitely be hard, but once you start getting like a lot more spells, it'll be, uh, it'll turn out to be pretty easy. And I'll be up to the task of leading the Crusaders. A hundred odd years of experience must count for something. But your mission in the Abyss is critical. Uh... Okay. 
If you destroy the thing and its exit, how will I return to Galarian? Don't worry about that. I will go with you, and I know the secrets of traveling between planes. I have also been to the Abyss before, and I have fought the beasts that dwell there. My sword and my experience will help you on this mission. Okay. In the Lexicon of Paradox, Arielu Warlesh book, it says that there are five such rifts within the border of the world room, so blocking the exit from one fane will only deprive the demon of one of their five roots here. Wait a moment. And where is this Lexicon of Paradox now? I would also like to take a look at it. Hmm. I have no idea where it is, to be honest. Probably still gathering dust in her laboratory. A pity. We could have learned so much from that book. True. I ain't giving it to you, Queen Galfrey. Dang! You can't refuse to go into the abyss. I don't like that choice. Really? You can't refuse to go into the, the rift and just kill them all. I don't feel like there's an evil option here, game. There should be an evil option here that just lets you kill the queen and the herald Viamide, and then turn the entire, you know, crusade into a, an undead domain. And then you attack both the demons and the humans at the same time. It'll be great. You'll wage a crusade on both sides. I'm sure that won't be hard at all. I mean, most of my army is already undead, though. I'm not gonna lose much. Wow, I can't believe there's no choice other than to go into the abyss. It's just different flavors of how you go in there. I don't like this, but fine. I will go to the abyss, but don't think I'll forget the way you treated me. Valor, bravery, and loyal comrades. We have all this in abundance. With it, even the abyss holds no fear for us. Oh, and one more thing. Mirror image will be like your best friend. <laughs> so you see all these extra images of me. Every time a um, I take a hit, one of my mirror images disappear instead. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't. I'm invincible to eight physical attacks. That that's a lot of damage. Soak up, though. Pretty good. Wish me luck as well. Until next we meet. Oh my god. Okay, do not press alt. Jesus. Oh, finally. Wherever my legs carry. All right, let's go. Jesus Christ. Having all these buffs really lags the game. My god. The commander has stepped through the rift, and now there oh, is I didn't no finish going that? back. Oh, well. Onward. To solitude. To the unknown. To the abyss. So this should be chapter 4? Or is it still a continuation of chapter 3? A level up in Mythic Pass. I'll take it.
Um, game. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> Champion, I'm amazed. I sense a surge in power within the moment you boldly step forth into the rift. The power was dark, but I have faith that you can keep it in check and wield it only to save Valerian from the ab abyssal invasion. So, that's where the rift leads to the realm of the most cunning of all the demon lords. This location is familiar to me, but that fact brings me neither joy nor consolation. Um. Okay. Ah, the abyss. This is not a hospital place, but I uh, just imagine how many experiments we could conduct here. Of course, of course, Nemeo. Uh, what can you tell me about this place? These are the Midnight Isles. This is a realm of Nocticula, the Lady of Shadow. Every corner of the abyss is repellent in its own way, but this place, this is where one truly walk on corpses. On the corpses of demon lords that were treacherously murdered, every monster slain by Nocticula becomes an island like the one we're standing on right now. This place seems to be created specifically to befuddle the heart and mind of the righteous. What I mean is that the demon lord are our enemies and their death should please us. But as I look at this black sky, I realize that something, the death of evil creates even greater evil. Why would Nocticula kill the other demon lords? For power, of course, obviously. Uh, every new murder that she commits extends her realm and the greater her realm, the greater her power. The ambition of the Lady in Shadow are great, and she knows no mercy. So the archipelago has become much larger in the millennia of her rule here. What does Nocticula have to do with the invasion of Galarian? I do not know. Before the idol that we saw in the Midnight Fane, I had not seen any trace of her influence in the world wound. But it's no wonder, the Lady in Shadow values guile, subterfuge, and devious plots. I will not be surprised if it turns out that she had been secretly aiding Baphomet and Descari since the first day of the invasion. What should we be wary of? Be wary. Beware every shadow? You tell me to beware every shadow in a realm of shadows. Worst advice ever. This is the Abyss. The plane of chaos and evil, I would be, it would be fair to compare our mission to that of spies sent deep into enemy territory. We do not belong here and everyone and everything that does not seek to kill us on sight will either kill us slowly or use us for unimaginable evil. It is a shame that we cannot hope for the protection of the sort of valor in the place, but or of the one who used to wield it. You should have sensed it already, how different everything feels without the banner's holy protection. What is our plan? We need to find the source of, Nihi of the Nihindrian crystal and destroy it forever, if possible. We know for certain that the crystal were transported to the world of ruin through the rift that we used to get here. What we must do right now is take a thorough look around. We need to understand what this place is and what they are doing with the crystal here, whether they were creating them or mining them, or bringing them here from elsewhere. I would also like to know who was in charge of the demons in the side of the rift. There still may be traces here or even some documents or witnesses. Okay. Be fair. Be careful. I will wait here. Of course you will. You useless angel. Uh, what if I try to use my powers to open those old portals? Alas, that is unlikely to work. These portals are unlike the seal in Dresden. They cannot simply be swept away. If you use that method, you will either destroy them for good or open the path, but not to the place where the portal initially led and where our quarry fled. Okay. Um, 
Oh yeah, we have mastery right now. Lich. New ability. Mythic ability, Lord of Death, and Dark Rites. Alright. Um, I don't know what I want here. I don't need ascended elements. I don't need that. Don't need that. I could take ascended summons. Um, bloodline ascendant. The twentieth level. Hmm. I mean. They all give me the same thing. But I'm already immune to cold damage. I don't really need this, honestly. Okay, brutal incarnation, cleaving shot, dimensional. Actually, that's not bad. Replace your move, right? Every time you're targeted by an enemy spell, you gain the ability to teleport to the caster and as a move action for the next two rounds. Oh. Not good for a caster, honestly. Domain Zealot, Elemental Bolt Rot. Every time you deal elemental damage to an enemy creature, apply a mark to it. You deal an energy damage. Oh, well, I only deal cold damage, so I can't really switch that around. I could take Endearing Spell for myself. You know what? That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, let's start taking Endearing Spells for myself, so that longer spells don't need to be recast. What the hell does these do? Lich. All of his companions in a 30 feet radius cast spells as if their caster level was two levels higher. What? That is insane. Okay. Cool. Alright, what about you? Always a chance is pretty good. Ascended summons. Nope. Battle meditation. Best joke. Boundless healing. Shot dimensional. Actually, that's not bad. Teleport to a caster. Emergency help. Nope. We never need that. We could also take enduring spells for her. I'd stop. I don't need to recast spells so often. Um, anything good though? Every time you damage an ally. Nope. Ever ready. Extra opportunity attacks. We don't use that. Range. He's not a range character. Your allies within 50 feet of you gain a bonus equal to half your myth rank to their initiative, saving throws against mind affecting and their concentration checks. You know what? That's not bad. That's actually not bad. Uh, every time you hit a target in melee, you mark it. They'll take an extra d6 per mystic rank. Oh. Okay, it has to be attacking, though. How many attackers do I have in my group? Just Wenduag and Sila, so not that good. You made a sword saint, and you are struggling? You don't know how to play the class. I can't help you there, because I did not make a sword saint. Um, I imagine it's a melee based class with buffing to your weapon. Um, I don't know. I don't even have like an idea how to get started to give you an answer to that. I rarely ever play physical based class. I love magic though. So. Powerful Shadows, Ranging Shot, Rupture, Restraints. Nope. Yep. Alright. Deering Spell it is. Yeah, like, no Sila is a pure Paladin. Where do you and want? I expect Wenduag out of Fighter and into... What the hell is she? Oh, Forester. So, Hunter Forester. Yeah. So. 
Um, if you hit an enemy with range attack, they receive a penalty to AC against melee, equal to half of your mythic rank for one round. Not bad. I also can get Enduring Spell for her too. Every time you damage an ally, oh, I keep reading that. Inspiring leader, last stand, leading strike. That's for melee only, right? Yeah. Mythic charge, mythical beast. Your animal companion is just as mystic as you. Unfortunately, she doesn't have an animal companion. Um, powerful shadows, ranging shot. Every time you miss an enemy, you get a plus one to attack. Not bad. The bigger they are, you gain a bonus to your attack roll depending on the enemy's size. Not bad too. I think though, we are going to go with Enduring Spells. I need to not cast as many spells as I do. Um, you're good, right? Yep, you got your fire. Battle meditation balance. Oh, greater enduring spells. Yes. Immediately take that, please. No need to question it. Okay. Menu. I mean, I don't know what I would take for you, girl. More spell slots, but that doesn't really help. Dimensional retribution. Ooh, I can take favorite meta magic. What does that do? Select some kind of meta. The spell level cost for its use decreased by one. Oh. Oh, I only have extend though. Nope, never mind. Last and leading strike. Limitless range, magic nullification. Ranging shot, rupture, restraint. Yeah, I mean. There's no more mythic ability that's revolving around spell casting. So I actually have no idea what I want. At any time you become paralyzed, you become staggered instead. You know what? Take that. Just to prevent you from ever being paralyzed. Um, what about you? I think you deal negative energy, right? My will is resolute. Your main damage is negative energy? No. It's just raw damage. Okay, never mind then. Impossible domain? You feel closer to your deity. You gain one more domain, ignoring all domain prerequisites. Not bad, depending on the domain. Well, I don't have enough spell slots though. I think getting more domain is just like more spells, right? Community domain, casting, calm, can guarded hearth. Yeah, you just get more spells. I mean, he already has all the spells I want, so. Magic notification. Yep, unstoppable. Might as well. Goddess protects us. Okay. Do I need to refresh buffs? 12 minutes? Nope. Yeah, this is how many buffs I have, by the way. <laughs> this is how you survive in late game on, on hard difficulty. It's absolutely insane. Alright, let's go. I suppose. We're good. We are good. Forwards. No backwards, backwards. Oh, the Triceratops, by the way, is I not her plans. companion. It comes from an item you find. Triceratops statue. Let me tell you, it is so 
freaking OP. I'll show you. Oh god, switching this is the worst. Come on. I don't know why they haven't fixed this. <clears throat> so this is the Triceratops. Oh, it got resetted. Oh, because I leveled. Of course. I have to rebuff it. Good thing I checked. Oh, what else am I missing? The cape. Where's my cape? There you go. Okay. What is that? Menace of death. Whenever someone dies within 10 feet radius with a wearer, this amulet, natural armor, plus three, the wearer gets the effect of the haste spell. This is renewed every time someone dies. After the effect wears off, the wearer cannot make any weapon or unarmor attacks for 1d3 rounds. Nope. Nenio can cast haste, but that's useless. Okay, anyways. This thing has 44 armor class, and after I buff it, it has like 50-something armor class. It's pretty insane. It's a great tank. And also has like 188 HP. So, you know. There's that too. Oh my god, my skeleton. Only has seven? Why, why is it lagging so much? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh, that's why. It's that stupid bug. Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun! There you go. Whenever you select Wenduag after a load, it lags the game. Everyone's having this problem, and I don't I don't know why. A lot of theories are the fact that um, her model is unique and the game is having a hard time loading it in. So Three hours already? My god. This game eats up time like no tomorrow. Search for the beauty with your heart, not your eyes. My will is resolute. Oh, I, I, I did that already, right? Yeah. You're a good person. I like you. Oh. Skin? You do. I don't need to put that on you. Oh, 
You still have echolocation? I don't see it, though. Are you good here? Yeah, I can't get rid of that. Yeah, I shouldn't be using that, honestly. I should be using Holy Weapon. Okay. What did I cast? Do I have both Angel? I do. Just refresh it. Oh god. The hell. And then do this on you. All of your buffs should still be going. Oh nope, I lost one. Okay. Are these like 20, like permanent now? A day, one day, one day, nice. Okay, done. Let's continue exploring this stupid place. The hell is that? Stone arch emit a revolting high-pitched shriek. In response to these vibrations, the particle of ash and grit under your feet float upwards. They gather together and violently twist themselves into a whirlwind, at the heart of which an ember of magic flame ignites. The fire becomes brighter until you see the strange city inside the flames. Featuring aerial spire staircase that leads to the void and streets entangled in a way that contradicts any logic or common sense. You see building that seems to have caught in an endless loop of crumbling and rebirth from ruin. Islands that float in the ether and alleyways that disappear 